Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to GIS World channel. My name is Hamid Reza and in this short video I would like to show you how to install plugins in QGIS and introducing some plugins which are useful in different application. In future and following videos we will go into the detail for each, pl each plugin configuration. Plugin has an important role in QGIS development as they help QGIS to increase its capabilities in manage your GIS work. The interesting part is that every week or month the new plugins are adding for specific or general usage and application. So let's start. Stop. If you open your QGIS desktop version and after that going to the Plugin menu toolbar here, as you see, uh, you see the manage and the install plugin. By clicking that, you see we have the huge number of the plugin which are important in different applications such as GIS, remote sensing, data analysis, and many more. The first plugin that I would like to introduce is the Q field, which has been created from the OpenGIS company located in Switzerland. The QField Sync plugin helps preparing and packaging QGIS project for QField. And if you write down QField, you see QField Sync and install the plugin. This plugin is very helpful, especially for the city planner and architecture for capturing data in field and accordingly data will be saved in QGIS system and cloud. If you close your third tab, again going to the plugin, QField Sync. And you can, you see the many tabs package for the QField Sync rise from the QField Configure Current Project and many more. And in following videos, we will explain to you in more detail. So let's continue with the second plugin. Second plugin is the Lease Map, which is the developed by Three Lease Map company in France. And if you come again to the Manage and install the plugin and Lease Map here, you see the Lease Map here. And I already installed in my machine, but and you see we have this possibility to uninstall plugin or upgrade the plugin if the new version is available. And I just activate in my machine and close so this plugin must be uh, activated again. This plugin is for publishing and sharing your QGIS projects on the web via Liz Map web client with many functionality and you keep the symbol of what you have configured in your QGIS desktop. If you come to the web Liz Map, unfortunately you cannot open that because I didn't create any QGIS project and I didn't configure the QGIS server, so but we will explain to you in the uh, future. So let's continue to the next plugin. So the QGIS Cloud plugin, it's a very important plugin and it is the powerful web GIS platform for publishing maps, data, and services on the internet, create and edit professional maps with the all capabilities from the QGIS with only few short mouse clicks. You can share your work on QGISCloud.com uh, with the public. And if I just write down QGISCloud, you see, just activate it. If I just close this tab and going back again here, you see this cloud here. And if I just click, let me just to show you, you see the map, up, uh, upload the data, account, about, and some uh, helpful information. So the next important plugin is Quick Map Services. So this plugin is very helpful if you need optional base map source from well-known data providers such as Google Earth, Bing, and OpenStreetMap. And if I just write Quick Map Services, you see here, just activated in my machine. And if I come again into the web, and you see the quick map services and you have 
uh, many tabs to add this, uh, those maps into, the, into your uh, project. So another important uh, plugin is the data uh, plotly. And if I go again here and write it down, data plotly, you see this data. I would like to activate it in my machine. And this is the Python plugin for the QGIS that allows the creation of the D3-like plots. Plots are totally dynamic, so you can interact with the plot. Uh, for example, zooming, getting some information, hovering the mouse, and many other useful stuff. And you see, we have two option, uh, some or ma many some uh, other option. Instead of the going to the menu toolbar here and just use your your plugin that you install, some plugins are added in in your uh, as an extra toolbar and i can open even this one from here or from here okay so and you see let me just show you some uh, uh this uh, plugin to you data plotly and you see we have the many option and even we can uh, create the different charts pie chart and some some different diagram in into your map So let's continue with the next plugin, which is the MM Kugis plugin. So let me just write it down. Kugis plugin just activated my machine. And if I go to the menu toolbar, you see this plugin. MM Kugis is the set of the Python plugin for ma manipulating vector map layers in QGIS such as CSV input, output, join, geocoding, geometry, conversion, buffering, hub analysis, simplification, column modification, and simple animation. And you see we have the many tabs here. So let's continue to the next plugin, which is very important for the architecture and city planner because they are working mostly with the CID data and they would like to open this data in the QGIS. So the name of this plugin is another DXF importer. And if I just go here, another DXF importer you see here, just it will be activated and if I just go to the vector as you see some some plugins are not in the plugin menu toolbar for example this one will be in this uh, the vector menu toolbar and if go to the DXF import convert import or convert from this plugin and you see uh, the uh, view of this plugin this plugin has capability to do DXF and DWG, these, these are the format from the CID data importing and enable us to preserve its original styling. It provides option to translate 3D information of the original CID data it is in 3D. So let's go to the last plugin that I would like to explain to you this uh, today is the plugin builder this plugin is for creating your own plugin with the python programming and later on you can publish this plugin so if i just show plugin builder plugin builder so you see and if I go again to the plugin menu toolbar, you see the plugin builder. So this is the starting point if you would like to create your own plugin. You know, we have the many, many uh, public and or published plugin in, in, in the QGIS, but sometimes you need to just develop your plugin, which is important for your job, a specific job or just the university project. So it shouldn't be public 
but it, you can create it by yourself and learning. But in this channel, we will show you how to set up the plugin with the Python programming. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe our channel for following videos and if you have any question please write down in the comment section and we will answer your question as soon as possible. Thank you and see you soon. Bye.